Welcome back guys, Ron here once again and before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it and give it a thumbs down if you're not. So once you watch it, just don't forget guys, show your support for the channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Right, so looking at the intraday. So what can we expect from Tesla today, guys? Look at, how, look at how it's setting itself up already. As soon as you see this, you should already say, okay, um, it's looking like it's setting itself up for the same thing it's been doing every day, the last couple of days, right? It shoots down, bounces, right? Shoots down, bounces off a key level. What are your key levels here, guys? I would say because these are so close, you have the pivot, pre-market open and pre-market low, all of them are in here. I would say your next reasonable level is really just going to be the previous day's close. So I would say, I mean, honestly, so close now. Had it been up here, I would have told you, hey, um, you know, just uh, watch it uh, accordingly there. But this thing is probably just going to come down here and bounce. And then you have to kind of see what it wants to do from there. If it's going to, uh, you know, play around in this area here and then shoot down like it did yesterday. Or if it's just going to bounce and shoot higher. Once it breaks 489.25, guys, today, if it bounces down, comes down and bounces, if it breaks 489.25, forget it. We're going back up to 498 uh, and 510 possibly. Now, areas to watch, you just watch this area here, guys. That's why I added it. Um, so the previous, previous day's close level right here, you see it had some issues there, right, yesterday. They hit it, hit it, right? So this general area here, right, this general area right here, just watch for... Just watch for a potential uh, uh, rest and or, you know, potential small reversal there and then continuation, right? So it'll it'll pull back from those, those general areas. Um, again, alternatively, if it does break the box and it goes down and it breaks hard, guys, that's it. Just, just don't violate the box. You go where it wants to go. You'll see the reversals coming. I mean, this thing doesn't just reverse uh, that fast. You can, you can see it coming, right? Depending on where you entered, uh, you know, you see it coming. Look at here. It's like basically 20 minutes where it's hitting the same level. So it's like, okay, this thing doesn't want to go higher. All right. So let me, maybe I'll, I should reverse because now where is it messing around that? It's messing around the previous day's close, right? This is yesterday. Messing around the previous day's close and it's telling you, hey, you know what? I don't think I have the juice to keep pushing higher. Maybe I want to go lower. This thing gave us a eight, uh, what is it? A $28 move yesterday, guys, right? Uh, well, $30 move. 498 to 472 uh, twenty-six dollar move. I right, felt, well, yeah, do the math. Uh, twenty-six, twenty-eight dollar move, right? So, um, just be careful with that. But overall, it's looking like it's gonna do the same thing. Uh, just hit it and bounce. And now is it to determine whether it wants to continue higher, which is the most likely scenario, as everything is bullish right now. But if it does want to make its way back down, guys, and let me go back to the daily. I had a key level here. Just look at this level here, right? So right here, which is pretty much, I'm pretty sure we have that line. It's pretty much the previous day's low, which lines up with the previous, previous day's close, right? So that level, again, it's it's all there. Um, just watch that bounce, right? So right here, this is the next key level for it to bounce off of, right? That's what it did yesterday, right? And that's what it could do today. But that doesn't mean you wait till it gets here before you decide to start buying calls or whatever, because you know what? Uh, I mean, before you start even trading this, you can trade this thing from here to here is what I'm saying. Don't violate the box. Go where it wants to go. Because if this thing comes here, bounces, but it only has a small bounce and it wants to keep going, don't miss on that $30 move, right? You know, that's what it did yesterday. I don't want you to wait. This is a big gap right here, right? This gap right here is huge, right? So just think about that, all right? And then the next one is going to be Roku. And Roku, guys, I've been telling you for uh, the last couple of days, um, it's making its way back down to this level here, right? So that's what it's doing. Um, RSI, again, still has room to run to the downside, um, but it's making its way, right? So let's take a look at it. Uh, what is it doing, right? So let's look at the previous days, open flat, pushes higher, then reverses. Previous, previous days, pretty much did the same thing. Uh, opens a little flat to lower. Pushes higher initially and then pushes lower. Here, it, I mean, it pushed higher basically to the previous day's low and it just couldn't break that level. So yesterday was the only day where it broke uh, a little bit to the upside. Uh, it broke the pre-market high right here, right? 
and then I say, hey, let me go back to the previous day's uh, high, previous day's close level, and then it started to reverse from there. So similar situation, guys, is what I'm looking for from this. But again, if it does push, for example, above the pre-market uh, high, this is a good the, a good scenario to say, hey, you know what? Let me take this for a ride to the next level, right? And you can say, hey, this thing may bounce off of these uh, 200 and 200 EMAs on the 30 minute, which they are both lined up together, right? They're starting to form a cross. So keep an eye on that because it's like, hey, why miss out on this move higher when you can take it to, to the upside and then take it to the downside as well? I'll move right there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so Roku, again, $7 move is the, the move for the day for, for Roku. Uh, it's just a matter of taking those. So I gave you guys all the levels I'm looking at, but be careful, uh, obviously, on that bounce when it comes down to 127.90. Uh, this is the area where it's definitely going to likely bounce off of, okay? Uh, so once it comes down to 127.90, it's hit that level plenty of times. Um, and unless we get a crazy amount of volume, you know what I mean? So 127.90 is pretty much this level here. One, two, right? This is going to be the third time it hits it. So just watch for that bounce there. Um all right, and then uh, let's cover Amazon and Shopify, and then uh, let's get ready uh, for the day. So let's see. All right, Amazon, let's take a look. Breaks this level, which is pretty much that uh, that Darvis box anyway. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, just look for it to start coming down, and then keep an eye on the previous day's low. Let me get rid of these extra lines. All right, 1898, obviously, you see it always pauses there, but because it's so close to the previous day's low, let me just get rid of these. All right, so once it breaks previous day's close, you're looking for the previous day's low, 1895, um, for it to, to potentially pause and or bounce off of this level. If it manages to break this level, I would add, uh, watch the pivot, which is the previous, previous uh, day's close, right? Which you can see here, right? This was the key level. So again, two levels of concern here on the way down for that bounce. Once it manages to break that, you can add some more, and then you have room for that run uh, a little bit lower, okay? Because after that, it's likely to continue and give us that nice solid move uh, lower, okay? Then different levels to watch, guys. Intraday rev level, 1883, 1876, which you already know, it had issues at these levels. So you can look for it to start pausing at these levels and if it does it at a specific time 10 30 10 40 uh look for the times that amazon likes to reverse right 11 50 you know then you say hey okay you know what let me just take all, all right guys that was a clip of this morning's uh call obviously it's just a small part of the call guys uh so those are the some of the stocks that we covered and then one of the ones that i pointed out during the open session guys was uber uh, Uber came up um, on the high volume scan, guys. A lot of volume going into Uber. I pointed it out uh, at uh, 8.41, so 9.41. So just 11 minutes after the session opened, uh, you can see here that we had uh, some, you know, I pushed it out because we had a lot of volume coming into it. And then just 10 minutes later, you see here, I pushed out, boom, already doubled. These things started at 15 cents, right? As you can see here, Uber... Had a nice little breakout uh, this morning. Uh, let me refresh the screen here. Here we go. You can see Uber pretty much right here, 841 on this candle here, 940 candle. Uh, right bright and early, uh, this thing, just the volume started to pick up, guys, came up. And this is the result of that, uh, of that move, right? And this is the result, guys. You can see here clearly the volume started to come in, right? Uh, we got it uh, coming in. And then this thing just decided to break out. Nice little breakout. Just uh, you can see here, boom, boom. Before you know it, these uh, contracts and the ones I selected were the 3450s, guys. Let me just show you what those look like. So the 3450s, which now are pretty much worthless. But you can see a lot of volume did go into them as this was happening. And this is why it's, it's important to make sure you have a plan uh, of entry and exit. Uh, but this was the opportunity that was laid out there, right? Uh, most of the time, these uh, ones that come up here end up actually continuing for the day. But hey, you know, you got to be ready for anything. But these went obviously from 15 cents all the way up to 53 cents. So you do the math. You know, you bought those for $15 a pop. Uh, how many could you have bought? You know, could you have bought 10, 20, 50, 100, 150, 200? And just calculate the math on that on how much profit you could have made uh, with that small investment, right? And then, you know, the confidence again, guys, is 
the fact that the volume was in, which is the one the one thing that's indicative uh, of what's likely to come. So as you can see here, the buyers came in, thing moved up. You can see you gained at least 30 cents within a matter of 10 minutes, and then you could have taken your profits right there because you've already doubled your money. So why be greedy, right? Especially on a stock that only does about 88 cents per day, and you already got 30 cents on the options contract, which obviously uh, don't always move as much. So there you go. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome payday Friday trading session. It was an awesome day. Uh, it's a good day. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the Sunday webinar.